What's up? What's up? When I don't look tired, I'm always tired. What's up? What's going on? What's going on, Brittany? My butterfly. I got you. Yeah, the, the white shirt. White shirt tonight, because I don't know what's going on. White shirt tonight, I don't know what's going on, bro. I don't know what's going on. Or well, black, I don't know what's going on, bro. You know what I'm saying? They got a lot of inconsistency going on. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on, bro. I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Shit just be happening. So I'm just here for the comments, bro. I don't know what's going on. What's going on, Pink? We rolled that tree house to the ground last night, huh? Bitch, I ain't gonna lie. We rolled that tree house to the ground last night. Kitty, why you ain't pulling up last night? You said you was pulling up last night. You said you and your pregnant stomach was pulling up last night. And you ain't pulled up. So, what's up? I don't know about what's going on, bro. I'm trying to see what's going on. This smells so good. It's the sound by rice spray. Fabulous flames. If Contrell can, Mr. Carroll can. Yeah, so what's up? What's going on, Reek? What's going on, Wayne? What's going on? I mean, they got a lot of shit going on in the city. I don't know what's going on, bro. I don't know what's going on. I'm just here for the comments, just like everybody else to see what's going on, bro. No, I ain't put the purple shirt on, like, cause I ain't got a, I ain't got a, a stable story. You know what I'm saying? I just got a few hearsays and a little, you know. Birdie said this, Birdie said that, but nothing's concrete. You see what I'm saying? I'm here on my birthday. Happy birthday, Tay. I know it's your birthday. They say Tia beefing with Dale. But now, what Tia and Dale doing beefing? Tia is way from Marrero. Dale is way from around the Cali or something. How them people even cross paths? I don't know what's going on. People be coming up with beef. You bitches... If they ain't eating beef, they fighting over beef. What's going on? Tia got to stop, though. Tia, you can't go nowhere. Everywhere you go, you beefing with somebody. They go, them people will want you dead. How do you and Dale go to beef? Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong beef. See, it's so much going on. Somebody, Dale beefing with somebody. So, no, they say Tia beefing with television. Girl, see what I'm saying? Telly, 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 you be in these comments wrestling. But look like lately, Telly, they been warning your head too. What's going on? They say Telly was a nice, wholesome girl who just put people lashes on. Not all of a sudden. Telly and Tia, y'all from two different walks of life. What's going on? All right. They say, man, man, baby, mama, old lady is here. Mm -hmm. What's up, Mickey? Uh, Key, where's your shirt? I ain't wear it, fat. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I ain't even wear it because they had a lot of inconsistency. They got people beefing. I don't know where these people be from. Tia and, and, and Telly, what's going on? Like, where these people come from? Please don't add her because she blocked me. Key, who blocked you? Let me guess. Tia. Tia got to stop on this internet. Tia got to stop on this internet, bro. Everybody, every time you look around, Tia beef with somebody. What's going on? What's going on? Bitch, you was sent in jail for three years for fighting or something you did. Them, they go get you, bitch. They go get you. Hey, this whole can't go nowhere. 
Then a shot you on your live and all that, and you're still out here with the mess. Tia, what's going on? Now, what did Telly do you? All that girl do is lashes now. What's going on? Does anybody know television? Send this to her. I'm quite sure she be here. She be on here to wrestle everybody else. She be on here to wrestle everybody else. What's going on? Where is Tia? She be on here to wrestle everybody else. Tia, where you at? I'm so happy you let you left um Tia the other Tia alone. Girl, leave her and Kim alone. She left them alone. Now she beef with everybody in the city, girl. What's going on? Get Tia on here. Tia, you be on here for everybody else live. You be on here for everybody else mess. What's going on? They got the style. They find, look like they just find stuff to fuss about. They find stuff to fuss about and get to it about, get into it about, and then boom. There you go. Whoa, that's cold blooded. I ain't lying. What is going on? What telly? You know telly, television who be on here in the, in the comments wrestling everybody. Y'all know, you know television. Telly, yeah, Junior, my project baby mama. Y'all know telly, now stop acting crazy. Now y'all get on here and act crazy. Tia, don't come on here with all that screaming, please. If you got anybody, block, unblock them, ho. This bitch here. Oh, what's going on, Brooke? What's going on, Brooke? Look at the ball. The ball in television court tonight, man. Yes, Lord. The ball is in television court tonight. Them people wants to hear from television. They say Telly gets on here and wrestle everybody else's business. And talk about who man she in the head and all that. But Telly, it's time to come to the congregation. They looking for you, man. Because, see, you done fucked with Tia. Tia go wrestle from sun up to sundown to the sun come back up. I'm telling you. Children hollering and screaming. The children hungry. Tia go get on this bitch. Holler and scream while she changed the diaper, while she cooked the grits and all that. Tia is go wrestle. Tia is from the Marevel Project. You know how that's going. Girl, please. Tia go wrestle to the ground. You done fuck with the wrong one. Tia is very ghetto and go wrestle. I'm telling you, Tia go wrestle you to the ground. Poor television. Television just on here, be on here in the comments like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Television be on here, comment like everybody else. But you done wrestled and got tangled up with Tia. Nah, it's a good time now. Nah. It's a time now. Nah. I already know what's going on. Where Tia at? Look her. Tia waiting on Telly to say anything in the comments and bitch Tia coming full force. I'm telling you, I know what's going on. I already know what's going on. So y'all, y'all get on here. I'm trying to find out what's going on. We got a few people. We trying to see what's going on. Oh, oh, Brooke, you on here? Oh, I got to bring Missy up here. Missy, you on here? But hold up. Wait, Brooke, you on here? Because let me slide something on your desk. Uh -huh, you get some, where, is Brooke, you on here? I saved this just for you. That's how we're going to start this live off. Uh-huh. Yep. Brooke, is you on here? You still on here? I got something to show you, fam. Brooke. We have great television in the salon at Silk Me Kids. All, all facts six. Oh, there go Tia. There she go. Tia, don't come on here with all that hollering, bitch. What's going on? Now you picking with television. That girl don't do nothing but people lashes. I know, Peg. I'm trying to see what's going on. I know, Peg. That's my fault. I got you, Peg. That's my fault. That's my fault. That's my fault. I'm going to hit you up. Brooke, is you still on here? Because Brooke and Fancy wanted to sit in the car with me and talking about Orleans Parish is so ghetto and this and that and this and that. We don't do this and we don't do that and Slidell and all of that. Well, let me show you what's going on in Slidell. St. Tammany High. I mean, Orleans Parish look like it's going on everywhere. They moved to Sloppy Slidell. Now all of a sudden, bitches is bougie and all that. Uh-huh, let me show you right there. Even in Sloppy Slidell. Even in Sloppy. You see that? How do I have to call her? Call your sister, do I have to call her? She talks so bad. She took Ace Boogie. Now, nah, I don't say Now, nah, I don't want to say television. Baby Daddy is my cousin, Ace Boogie. 
And I did a sent this to Boogie. Girl, that's cold blooded. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's cold blooded. What, Monique? You on here, Monique? She knee him in a balls. You never left? All right. Well, if you never left, let me show you what you never left. You're right. You never left the hood. Next thing, they're going to be shooting us like them. Look, it's okay. I know it's okay. I just want to let you know. Y'all got to stop since y'all done moved across this water over here. All the way across this water, y'all feel like the the grass is greener. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. The grass is still brown and the water is still about to be salty and sloppy as like hell. Mm-hmm. Y'all got to stop with all of that. Kid, he rattled her to the ground. Oh, yes, he did. Boy, they missed that treehouse last night. I'm here. All right, what's going on, Monique? Come on here. Monique, you see it? Come on here, say a few words. Monique said that, um, you know, since she's the topic, you know, she she's the topic. She said she is um, an A1 realtor. Um, she said that she know a few people, you know, is, um, needs housing, um, wants housing, and doesn't really know about how to go about getting housing. So, you know, she just want to give y'all they beating up Peter in St. Slammy. Uh-huh. All of that. They got to be strong. Okay. All right. The boxer. The boxer is in the building. You saw I had to wrestle up V last night. I boxer. Marcus, you see I had to wrestle up V, huh? They had to wrestle up V last night. She was with um Angel and Sian. You know what that means. Girls night. Oh, Lord, be careful. You know, Sian and Angel don't play in these streets. First time home by a seminal. Monique, you see who's coming up here? What's going on? You done got cold feet? Oh, that shit go about to say. Now what's going on? Paint the city milk chocolate. Because I'm for professionalism. And the white people be professional. And the Vietnamese people be professional. And the Arabs be professional. Black people go scam you and steal your money. And as Kanisha said, they go work for you. And like they're your friend. They come behind your back, smile on your face and steal your name. And, you, and then next thing you know, they got a house in your name. That's what they said. I don't know what's going on. Death City lying. I don't know what's going on. But the people can't be talked about because they got paperwork in order right now. So we can't talk about Death and Kanisha right now. Please do not come up here. Speaking on death and Kanisha, please. The people got stairway orders going on and all of that. That's right. They say in New Orleans, if a bitch or a nigga say they got good credit, bitch, you got to know the whole next door go try it out. <laughs> ah! Bitch, you say you got good credit? I'm trying to see. So let me go get this house in your name, bitch, and see if the if the check come. Uh huh. Let me see if the check go clear. You say you got good credit. Uh huh. Oh, you say you got an eight hundred credit score. Uh huh. Well, bitch, you know what? Instead of you saying it, let me see if it is what it is, bitch. <laughs> you hold me dirty in New Orleans. Oh Lord, y'all is a different type of bitch in New Orleans. Bitches riding around the phone calls, red seats and all that. Talking about they got this and they got that. New bodies, new teeth, credit score, 800. Well, bitch, let me put this credit to the test. <laughs> ah! Bitch, let me put this credit to the test. Let me see if your credit is crediting. <laughs> oh, Lord. God, this is big in New Orleans. Bitch, they don't play in New Orleans. Oh, Lord. I saw head back out of 550 credit score. Bitch, what's your water, bubble gum? <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord, that mercy, Jesus, they don't play this the wall, as I'm telling you. They don't play this. Oh, bitch, you got a good score to score? You do? Let me see. Bitch, fly that day. Don't bring me. I'm sorry, Death. I'm sorry, fan. I don't want no smoke. I'm sorry, fan. I don't want no smoke. Please, don't drag me on side of the big house, bitch. Ain't Kanisha, ain't. Don't let make me do it now. Please don't make me come on side down. I'm sorry, Fed. I fuck with you. You know I fuck with you, bitch. What's up? Bitch, if the, if the credit score, if the score is crediting like that, bitch, put me on. I need me a new car or something. Let me see what she say. 
who used the name? Don't start rumors. Don't do all right. That's I'm sorry. That's just what the people say. I don't know what the paperwork say, man. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. But if the credit is crediting like that, bitch, lie me a coin. Now what's up? What we doing? Yes, Lord. If the credit is crediting like that, slide me a coin, bitch. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Shed a fucking wealth, bitch. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Bitch, I'll do it for you. What's up? Bitch, if it's crediting, if the credit is crediting like that, bitch, slide me in something. What we doing, huh? Go ahead on, huh? Fuck. Slide me in, death, bitch. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Bitch, look out for me. Oh, that's what I'm saying. If we go fuck, what's up? If we go go down, bitch, let's go down. What's up? Bitch, you good. For 50000 you get the same charge for $50 million. What's up? Put me down, bitch. What's up? Yes, Lord. That's what I be saying. I don't understand why y'all go up in these stores and be stealing one shirt for $100. Bitch, what's up? It's the same charge to get 100 shirts to one shirt, bitch. You might as well go take the whole wall. What's up? <laughs> I'm just trying to be honest. The fuck what we talking about? That house not in Kanisha name. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Well, I don't know what's going on. I know it's pieces of property and store and all that's going on. I don't know what's going on. But I'm just saying, if the credit is crediting, let's get it crediting. You know, let's start crediting it. You know what I'm saying? But that's all. Monique, I am keep trying to add to what's going on. That's all I'm saying. If the credit is crediting, my bitch, put me on it. What we doing at this point? Fuck, what we doing in New Orleans? Girl? New Orleans is different. I could, bitch, I know one thing. New Orleans go tell Texas to the ground starting Thursday. Oh, Lord. Texas, we about to tear Texas down to the ground. Bitch, what is they talking about? Bitch, what is they talking about? Free in the comments. That's the problem with black people. They get on Section 8 and get comfortable. Y'all got to leave something for them cheering. Y'all laying on your back. Them children not asking to come here. Y'all bringing and raising them children with no father figure in their life. Them children ain't asked to come here. Y'all bringing them children here unwillingly from a one night stand. Leave them a house at least. Leave them a piece of property or something, black people. Come on now. Y'all wants to be born into Section 8 and die on Section 8? Come on now. We got to stop flipping Section 8. Stop flipping your booty hole and do something for them children. See, y'all don't hate that. Y'all hate to hear from me. They hate to hear from me. Leave something for the motherfucking children. Fuck. Y'all fucking these niggas. Y'all fucking y'all best friend nigga getting pregnant for your best friend brother and all this and all that. What's going on? Leave something for the fucking children. What be doing? See that? Y'all y'all hate to hear that part. Face reality, bitch. That's what's going on. Face reality. Fellas, listen. The women be quick to put you in jail. The men, the women be quick to say you're a deadbeat. The women be quick to say, you ain't got fuck, you were staying with me. But they forget the part to say you were staying with me on my Section 8. Let's start there first. So we need to, fellas, do like I did. Find out what's going on and go buy your house and let the bitch come stay with you. Uh-huh. So you could stop staying with her in her Section 8. You get busted selling drugs. Now you, her, and the kids on the street. What's up? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, keep this mouth. It's got to stop. Boy, this is an unfiltered mouth. But, bitch, I ain't lying, though. I ain't lying, though. What's up? I ain't lying about it. That's what I'm saying. Y'all wants to sell all kind of dope, sell all kind of drugs, buy all kind of Balenciagas and Louis Vuitton and all that. Dang with her in her Section 8. You get busted selling drugs out of Section 8. Now you, her, and the cheer. Walking to the car with y'all Balenciagas on. <laughs> and they got no house. <laughs> y'all got to be strong. Oh, no. Girl, y'all got to be strong. Y'all stands at the bus stop with Gucci's on. Girl, bye. What is we talking about? Y'all standing in the um, Section 8 line with Louis Vuitton's on. Girl, bye. What is we talking about? Y'all at the people asking to pay your life bill with Chanel tennis shoes on. Girl, bye. <laughs> Girl, please. Girl, please, I go to y'all hoes, go to y'all hoes house. Bitch, y'all light bill say, uh, uh, Betty Boop. Ain't nobody in there, Betty Boop. Y'all got to stop. Y'all putting your lights in all kinds. Girl, y'all got to stop. Y'all putting your lights in y'all chair name and all that because y'all got lights in other houses that y'all ain't paid the bill. Let's get it together, black people. White people don't do that. We're so tired. White people don't do that. Why, what's wrong? 
Them children just got in the world. Y'all done fucked last night, them brought these children in here. You don't know, they don't know who their daddy is. Now them children is two weeks old and got a light bill in their name. Girl, y'all dirty for that. <laughs> y'all let you y'all chance to sit it down. Y'all talk about everybody else. Let's talk about what the fuck you doing. Uh-huh. See, when you start talking with them about what the fuck y'all doing, it's a problem. Don't get mad with me because you're doing it, you nasty bitch. Please don't get mad with me. Now, back to what I was saying. Tia, is your own here? I'm trying to see what you and television get into it about because television is a classy girl. Now, next thing I know, you and television wrestling. Now, television usually be in the comments wrestling. Everybody miss. Telly ain't said one word tonight. Telly, what's going on, bitch? What's up? The ball is in your court, bitch. It's time to dribble. What's up? That's what I'm saying. What's going on? They gets on a burn page to talk about me. They gets on a burn page to talk about my friends. Y'all don't say a motherfucking word. Y'all sit there, laugh, joke, key key, talk about us to y'all group messages. Send us over to the burn page as well, bitch. Now, now, <laughs> now, the ball is in your court. Let's dribble, fam. What's going on? What's going on? Uh-huh. The ball is in your court. It's time to dribble. Let's uh-huh. That's what we got to do right there. We got to put the balls in here. We got to put the balls in here. What is going on? Cause see, you don't fuck with Tia. Now Tia will upload about you all day and night. Before she go to sleep, when she wake up for breakfast, lunch, brunch, and dinner, Tia will roll you out. I don't know what you're doing fucking with Tia. How y'all met each other, girl? Y'all live way on two different sides of the town. What's going on? What's going on? But I'm going to start adding people because I don't know what's going on, bro. What's going on? Is the people from Aberson on here? They say Aberson is running a shit show over there. I'm here. Listen, I love the children and I love the schools. But they say Aberson is running a shit show over there. What's going on? What's going on? They say Aberson is running a shit show over there. I don't know what's going on. Listen, at this point, y'all, you, you, you know, that's, 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 you know, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest for a second. Um, let's call a spade a spade. Um, I think all schools at this point is in shambles. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Now look at that. Now I can't go to schools no more. See what I'm saying? Now see that go say I can't go to schools no more because I don't say what the fuck I say. Well, I said it. I said it. Well, you know, it's, I think it's time for somebody to say it. You know what I mean? We sit on this internet, y'all, and we get these videos. First of all, it gets mad because the children can't bring a phone to school. I see why. They say make the children leave their phones at school. I see why. That's why the children can't bring their phones to school because they don't want nobody to see what's going on. Them children is bringing them phones in the school and not everything is coming out. Everything is coming out. Well, you know what? It, it goes back to this. You know, when, when I was in school, all the teachers, all my teachers was old enough to be my grandmother. You know what I'm saying? When I was in school, all the teachers was old enough to be my grandmother. Now, the students is 20 and the teachers is 19. Yeah, I said it right. I ain't said it wrong. I said the students is 20 and the teachers are 19. That's what I say. That's what I'm saying. So listen, I don't know what is going on in these schools. At this point, all the schools are in shambles. You, we got to bring the old teachers back, but the old teachers can't take that chance and come and work in the schools no more because the students is beating the piss out of them. The students is beating the piss out the teachers. At this point, y'all, that's why I'm happy I ain't a teacher. Because, bitch, I would have made a many of you bitches timeline. Because I'm a wrestle with the children. Me and the children go wrestle to the ground. Bitch, I'm spitting and pop. I'm shooting mace. What's up? I ain't shooting them with the gun. I'm shooting them with the mace. I don't want them to see what's going on. You see what I'm saying? And I'm a hog tie them because they act like animals. I'm a hog tie them down to the ground and call the police. That's what's going on. Now, you can say what you want. Shout out to the teachers. I'm, you know, y'all y'all have a very serious job. Y'all have a very serious job. You know what I'm saying? They got some teachers I know. I ain't saying no names. Just yesterday, I saw them selling drugs on the corner. Next day, they're the dean of students. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where they're getting these deans from. One, you know, one, one, then the next thing you see the teacher. Well, I would just say this here. 
here you go. See, they're going to get mad when I say this part. Lord have mercy. But I got to say, all the teachers is punks. I'm sorry, y'all. I mean no harm. But the people just asking me to be honest, and I got to be honest for the, the, the people of the city of the New Orleans. I got to be honest for the people of America. Okay. Okay. Because see the, yeah, stagger. But did you, that's right. I'm going I'm to agree with you, too. I'm going to agree with you, too. I'm going to agree with you, too. Um, I don't know what's going on. You know, I, I don't know what's going on. Um, But, you know, no, no matter... um. Which is, you know, outside the school, but on the on the school grounds, we got to be professional. You know, we got to be professional. You know, I see some of the um male teachers. Um, I don't know what be going on, but I see some of the male teachers they go to school, um, with their faces beat to the, you know, with the faces beat, with the eyebrows arched. You know, um, you know, I I think just a, it's, it's a little bit too much for the school. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I, I just don't understand some stuff that's going on, and the students are bringing this to me. Um, I don't know what's going on, you know, but um, I, I, it's just a lot going on um, in the schools, you know, and I don't know what's going on. Um, I just don't know what to say. And then they say, well, you know, um, in the white schools, this and the white teachers there, but then you bring the white teachers into the black schools, and then now, they going to jail for fucking the black students and all that. Cause listen, say what you want, say what you want. Black kids, them white teachers, been married for 15, 20 years and their husband ain't got any pants with them black students got. So that's why them teachers, every time them white teachers get these black schools, they be a problem they make the new. Every time the white people teachers get into the black schools, they hit the news. That's what I'm saying. They got to get fucked. I don't know what is the outcome of this school situation. I don't know what's going on. You, at this point, the, the white teachers get to what's up. Maybe there is. You know, maybe it is, but they know how to hold the composure. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, 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 Monday through Friday, they go with the dirtiest polo, they go with the dirtiest jeans, the most bent up, dirtiest shoes. And then on Saturday, they're going to be with the Ridge Restaurant. I don't know what's going on. You know what? I just don't know what's going on. I just don't, you know, at this point, I don't know who to blame. I don't know if it's to blame the churn or blame... I mean, I don't know what's going on. You know, I don't know what's going on. You know, the, the, the students be at the clubs, and then they be in the club with the teacher. The, you know, the teacher buying them drinks. They leave in the club together. They're having fun. They're sleeping by the teacher's house. And all of that. But then when the teacher try to chastise them at school, as teacher and student, it becomes a problem. Uh -huh. But that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. I don't know what's going on in the school system, so please, I don't understand the school system at this point. I don't know what's going on in the schools, please, y'all. I don't know if you go, we, we go discuss schools. We got to get somebody from the school system on here. Who you talking about? Keep saying names. School system. The whole school system. What's, what? The whole school system. That's who I'm talking about. The whole school system. From pre-K all the way up to 12K. School system. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Now, let's just move right along. If there's any teachers on here that would like to come up here, you could come on up. Come on your burn page. Come on up. 
because I don't want the teachers to, the teachers to come on here and say the wrong thing. Then tomorrow, another teacher getting their ass whipped with chairs. Mm -hmm. The only school I don't see, you know what? I was about to exclude St. Og, but at this point, the per purple and gold ain't the purple and gold no more. I say it in. I don't care who don't like it. I say it. The purple and gold ain't the same purple and gold. I don't know what's going on. You can say what you want on here. Purp the, the purple and gold I know from when Hemp was there ain't the same purple and gold a day. Now, you can say what you want. Now, I don't care what you say. You can say what you want. The same purple and gold from back in the day ain't the same purple and gold a day. Now, that's just on that. Back in the day, St. All was St. All. All boys school marching 100. Now, St. All got cheerleaders. They got homecoming queens and all of that. I don't know what's going on. The purple and gold ain't the big purple and gold no more. Now, that's just what's, I don't know what's going on. When Hap was here, we ain't had all of that. Now, the purple and gold is purple. But let me shut up. Let me just add these people. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, but it's the same purple and gold today. It's the same purple and gold tomorrow. I don't know what's going on. They say Warren Easton was Warren Easton High fundamental. Now it's Warren Easton High. Let's wrestle. That's right. Warren Easton is fighting. Call. We ain't never heard of call. All our days, all we knew that they had a school name call. I ain't never knew what call was that in my life. Now, nah, call wrestling. Yes, Lord. Call is wrestling. You know, I, you know, it's, it's just a lot going on. You walk out that basketball gym. Girl, let me shut up. I don't know what's going on. At this point, see when it was O'Pair Walker and Landry together? I don't know what's going on. Nine to say Walker by himself and Landry by himself. I don't know what's going on. Now somebody named Kipner came on in here. I don't know who these people is no more. I don't know what school is. There she go. I blame the one app. There she go. This bitch here always won't blame some. Blame the children. Let's start there. Blame the mo in the pump. No, 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 no. Let's go back. Let's blame. All right, at this point, I don't know who to blame. I will say blame the mama and the absent daddy, but sometimes it be blame the daddy and then blame the absent mama, but then it be blame the grandparents because the mama and the daddy absent. I don't know what's going on in the school system. I just don't understand what's going on. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on at this point. You know what? I'm just here for the comments because if I said it's a problem, so I'm going to just keep my opinion. Let's start there first. I'm going to keep my opinion. Let's start there first. Let me make it clear. I'm going to keep my opinion to my own self. Now, I ain't got nothing to say. Hmm. Genuine <laughs> underscore grind. Hello? Ooh. I'm sorry. Oh, you don't want to come to the table? No, thank I'm sorry. All right. Take yourself down, baby. All nice right. meeting you. All right. Oh, oh, skip. Game over, skip. This Game over, skip. Been my brother for years. I've been knowing game over. I've been knowing game over since game over was game over. And you hear me? I've been knowing game over. That's been my brother for years. But Skip, come on here, because they sent over today that you done got fired from the school. What happened? They say they fired Skip from the school for teaching line dance. Girl, when them people told me that, I threw the whole phone across the phone fucking canal. I don't know what's going on. Them people say they fired Skip because Skip was teaching the children the line dance. Well, you know what, Skip? If they fired you, go open the lawsuit. Because, Skip, at least when you was teaching the line dance, they wasn't out there robbing, jacking, and killing. That's cold-blooded. Skip, is your own, could you come on here, Skip? They say they fired you because you was teaching the children the line dance. I said, what? That's cold-blooded. I know one thing. Skip is here for the kids. I did. I know Skip. Skip used to try to challenge the Urkers. 
You know, Ryan, you know I was the Urkel with Hot Boy Ryan and them. Bitch, you know this, the, this game over, thought they could beat the Urkels. But we showed them that we was the ones. Yes, Lord. The game over tried to challenge the Urkels. But the game over was for the neighborhood people. The Urkels was on the road. We was on the road with Master P and Chopper Styles and all them different people. The, 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 the game over ain't had enough money for Hot Boy Ryan and the Urkels. We, we was rolling. We had a tow bus. We was on the road. Bitch, we was state to state. What's up? The, ga the game over couldn't do it. It was made from the hood. The game over was made from the hood. They used to just be shoulder rocking and legs kicking on the streets. From Metairie to Kenneth to New Orleans. We was state to state. You know, I'm sorry it may sound a little harsh, but that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? The, the game over couldn't compare to the Urkers. He was dancing and supposed to be teaching Matt. Well, he did teach the Matt. It was an eight step and a four step. And they find him for that. That's cold blood. Let me get skip on here. There you go. Let me add my brother on here. If the schools skip, if the schools got you out of there for that, I'm going to the school board. And they don't want me to walk in. It's going to be a problem because I'm bringing my friends from the WDSU. What's going on, brother? They fired you for the line dance? Yeah, man. Yeah, I went viral line dancing for the. No, I swear to God. Oh, for real. No, for real. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. Um, I went viral doing it to me a dance and that Usher dance. And um, the only reason I was blind dancing because other teachers in the school was doing TikToks with the uh, with the students. Right. So I was like, I didn't see it was a, a problem. problem. I didn't see. But uh, and let me tell you this: at they always, I taught my students a line dance after they finished their assignment. It wasn't just I was just coming in there and line dance, line dance. It happened like the last twenty minutes of class. And, uh, I went viral. I was a coach first, and they let me go. Skip, I, listen, for real, all jokes aside, the churn DM me and told me that. Sharon said he's staying behind you. I swear to God, I'm going to see the DMs. I'm going to see the DMs. I, I, I love the kids that told me, right? Like, they, you know, there was a lot of them raising their tails. I try to look out for them and try to do you know, just do what I'm doing. Them children liked it to do that. Them children needed something to do. They helped me come to school. Some of them didn't come to school. They gave them something to come to school. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's about the kids that they need it. That's, I got, I'm a father, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm a football coach. I just try to do my best. Like, I get it. Like, a lot of kids don't come up with the same I'm bringing. So, I just try to do my best, bro. I was at the end of the day, that's it. And, uh, yeah. And would you just walk through the way you ain't got nothing to say? Oh, Skip, please. I would have blew the internet. I would have wrestled the internet to the ground. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's what they want here. When the children and they're fighting the teachers, they won't hear that. That I, was positive. I, the children wanted to do I was that. the ones breaking up the fight. I was the ones, like, you know. <laughs> I'm the uh, you know, like I said, man, I, it hurt. You feel me? Because not I was a football coach first, and then they added me as a teacher in January. But he said I couldn't come back. Got that one viral line dancing. But it's all good, though. You know, I've been blessed for man. You know, God been blessing me, man. So I really don't, you know, I ain't go home. I should have. I should have, but I ain't. Nah, nah, you know what I'm saying? So you just let it go. You ain't worried about it. Yeah, but yes. you know what I'm saying? See, you was always the type of person. You was always the type of person. Lay back, nonchalant, just give it to God and, 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 and just go do uh-uh, you got to be more boisterous for the kids. Not with the people saying them tape. I'm gonna see the DMs, you'll be shocked. Them children mm -hmm. sending me that. For real? Yeah, I swear to God, the children sent me, that's how I knew. Hey, but I thought it was a joke. My kids, my kids, uh, the students, my ex-students, they still hit me up. They still like, come to our game, coach. Come, you know what I'm saying, woo -woo -woo. They let me know how they doing. I still talk to some of my student parents, like, you know, just checking on them, see how they doing. Yeah, bro, like I, I built a, you know, a good, you know, like a father slash teacher relationship with a lot of my kids, especially some of my male students. You feel me? So, and that's what them dudes. You know. That's what them children need. Not only that's what them dudes need. They need somebody they can sit down and talk to. That's why. That's why I let them talk to. That's why they come my DM. They be talking. That's why I let them talk. Because mm -hmm. they be want to. Just sometimes they do want to talk. And he, even if you say nothing, even if you just just listen, they be grateful for that. Just uh, hear, have a hearing ear. That's cold blooded. And see how you you see how you be helping the kids like some of them like you know I don't you know a lot of the kids told me even some of them like you be helping them out like just a little stuff money yeah coming like, out and all that yeah but I, I don't say it because that's embarrassing because I've been there before bro I I do a lot I do a lot of that bro I do a lot of that. some kids be hungry no food at the house you know hey coach Skip can you Uber me here can you all that man I do all that bro I don't you know what I'm saying that's I mean it's about the kids in the day and I get it you feel me so but yeah bro. Yeah, it's true. Though. It's true. If I because I went viral line there. Wow. I'm I'm gonna call you after this. I want I want to see that shit for real. All right. All right, buddy. Bro, that's cool. Boy, that's cool. I thought the children was jokes because they'd be in my DM sending me all kind of shit. 
but that's what we did dealing with in the schools. That's what we did dealing with in the schools. Boy, that's cold bloody. Mm -mm. And I'll never get on here because see, there you go. Yeah, y'all making me say something again. Because see, they got people who get on here. You know the people we follow. I ain't gonna say their names, you know, but they get on the internet and everything they do for somebody, they got to get on here and say it. They done fed the homeless, they got to show it. They done brought the, the homeless this, they got to show it. They done gave the child two dollars at the at the a dollar at the water at the at the red light for buying the water they got to show it there's several kids i've been dressed for homecoming paid for out, out of my money several kids school budget i done paid for out of my money sent it on cash after so i got a receipt dead uh-huh uber bitch i done sent so many ubers and lifts i feel like i should be part owner in uber and lyft let's start there first Bitch, I ain't gonna lie. They be asking me to come to their football games only. I can't do it. I don't want the heat. And no, you know, I don't want to act like I'm Hollywood because I'm not Hollywood. But I don't be for the wrestling at the games because they fights and they shoots at them games. And I don't want to be a part of it because the student they shooting at ain't gonna get hit. It's gonna be me by mistake. I don't want no parts. I'm scared to death of it. I went supported my little cousin Ryan at the St. All game. It was a million cheering. When they go to Highland, I don't know what they be Highland for. They be Highland to take a picture, though. I don't know what be going on. I take the picture and don't be knowing what's going on. Mm -hmm. It be too many of them. Anytime you got to have the sheriff there, the police there, the security there, there's too much going on. That means it's a wall going on up in there. That's what I'm saying. But I took my chances. I said a little prayer. And me and D-Roy wrestled through the ground. Yes, we did. Listen, let me add the people. But let me tell you how serious it is at the football games, at them high school football games. This is real serious. It's so serious at the motherfucking high school games that you can't even buy a ticket at the game. You got to scan the barcode and pay online. Ain't that something else? I said, but well, why you can't pay at the gate no more? They say because they robs the people in the window. <laughs> when they say that, I say, D-Roy, I think this is not the place for us. But we went in. Yes, we did. We went in. Lord have mercy. I ain't had nothing in my pockets. That's cold bloody. Them people say they can't sell tickets at the door. They can't sell tickets at the gate because they robbed the ticket booth. That's big. That is big. God. Lord, they rob the people at the ticket gate. That's big. That's big. I ain't gonna lie. They ain't gonna look at my partner. They done fired my partner. Let me bring my partner. Let me bring my partner. They done fired my fucking partner, bro. They firing all the good teachers, bro. They got What's I up, that, bro? Huh? See, look. I wanted to get on here when you had Skip on here. You know I was a nigga boss too, you heard me? So I was I wouldn't say I was complicit in the shit, but I was in there and we definitely fired him just because he was teaching kids how to dance, bro. Like the nigga, what I can tell you is this, 1000%, the man has classroom management at a top tier, right? What I could say is he was finishing what he needed to do. He had a life skills class. He did what he needed to do. He went to offering that. It was person. I don't want to say her name because I know how she gets sticky. He spoke the name, but everybody know who pull the cards and pull the strings over there right. It was that person who was really hating and to me, brother, as a dean of schools, I've been in schools, I told you, 13 years, that young man was teaching kids shit that adults didn't have the ability to learn. And again, he was teaching them something that was a, on the line of life, right? right. People dance here, like that's what they do. Right. That's what he could do. So even in one of the meetings, if anybody from leadership on here, Mr. Dice went and offered to give Mr. Skip a dance class. Let's change the class to dance. I was laughed at and told, we don't have that in our curriculum. Yes, we do. She was refusing to allow the man to grow at what he knew because we was, we was deficient on teachers and she needed to push him into something else, right? Right. Which is wrong. So you remove the man because he was bringing camaraderie to your classroom. 
And watch this. So it be right hasn't won district in years. And that young man was a part of the only fucking part of that. Uh, uh, he was a part of the team. I mean, a part of the only team to ever win district. So it be right. Dude was making major gains. I, I told you, I'm, I'm back. I'm back at another school. But the day. So that same woman, that same woman pulled the plug on the you. Same lady, bro. Because again, listen. Sometimes you could do this, Keith, and I'm going to be honest with you. That don't work that no more, so I really don't care, right? right. I could pretend to won't have all these black men who work for me and stand for me, and I could show that and show face. You feel what I'm saying? But then in reality, that's not really what it is. So Skip did, bro, and I mean, that man should deserve a job anywhere, bro, like, the day class with management on top tier, bro, like for real, for real. And that, I used to that, be seeing it. I used to be that, seeing it. And the children, the ones sent the shit to me about, they, they um they fired them and it was down bad. The children yeah, sent me that. I mean, I'm kidding. Listen, that's why I told you, man, when I got on here about the shit they said about me, I'm like, talk to the children. Like, that school open enough to where they know what's oh, going on. Since you're here, since you're here, since you're here, I got that receipt too. The little girl said you took her phone from her, so she started the rumor, and the little girl fought her. And now that little girl put her out of school because the girl fought her from her from bullying. And I and I, I told you I couldn't divulge all that because that was some youngsters. Well, I don't work that. So I, I can't really I say all that. that. I can but I, that's that's what people do, dog. I told you they're gonna jump on anything when there's they don't have nothing to say about it. They're gonna jump on anything and ride it. You feel what I'm saying? Everywhere I go, man, I can't believe, man, bro. If you believe that, and we gotta have a conversation. So where you think any of that shit true, then I'm good on you for sure. But that's how it is, bro. Like in these schools, is about but the girl. The brand of the I said the little girl. The little girl the didn't me. The little girl didn't me and said that she told the school that that didn't happen, and they still let you go. So it must have been something they had built up on you. They probably wanted you out of there no, anyway. No, listen, that ain't had nothing to do with me getting fired. Let's take that off the board. That had nothing, nothing to do with me getting fired. When you when I when I came on your show. Everything that I had done did already was with somebody else and nothing, none of that. That had no bearing. When I had the meeting, you know, it was brought up in the conversation. You feel what I'm saying? Right. But again, that that's that's a I heard this, we're not gonna talk about this because again, brother, if I would've if I would have did that, I would have been on the news, I would have went to jail. Yeah. You would have had parents coming to you, you would have yeah. had that like girl coming to you, you would have had her friends who she told, because can't nobody hold no fucking secret. Who said, Keith, I know too. You would have yeah, had text right. messages, DMs, you would have had phone calls or messages or videos. You got none of that. Right. Because none yeah. of that never took place, brother. I've been a hoe, but I ain't never been no child toucher, brother. Thanks. And I'm going to leave on, on that one. All right, Peace brother. Out. So where is, um, at this point, um, I mean, I don't think we need to move um testimonies but um at this point where we go at this point where we go see this is this is what y'all don't like to hear first of all a lot of y'all don't like being parents let's start there first a lot of adults on here don't like being parents so this conversation here aggravates them because they aggravate because they don't know what the fuck to do what the fuck to say let's start there first so this kind of conversation right here is mind-blowing for a few people see a lot of people a lot of people their parenting is paying for what they got to pay for and get the fuck well some of them is Parenting is if I don't say nothing, if I don't pass my comment, I ain't got to worry about it. If I ain't got, to, if I don't pass my opinion, I ain't got to worry about it. That don't go like that. Y'all got to stop sending them children to school, thinking them teachers is their parents. Them teachers ain't made them. Them teachers ain't raised them. Y'all got to raise your own motherfucking children. Now y'all sending these bad ass children, unruly ass children to school, and now it's fucking these teachers up. But now it's the teachers against the teachers, and it's the students against the teachers. But well, what the fuck we doing at this point? So Miami. What you're saying about a um about a village? Before you get the village, we got to get the YMCA straight first. Hello? Uh-huh. Let's do that. So before we gather the village to get the child together, we got to get the adults and the children together. Because if the if the adults are fucked up, how the children go be straight? Y'all, see, they don't want to hear that. Uh-huh. See, they don't want to hear that part. They just want to keep fucking and sucking and getting these churn here and ain't got a plan for these churn. Ain't got a pot to piss in and the window to throw it out. One thing I could, me and Miami, get, me and Miami beefing right now. Let's start here first. Me and Miami beefing right now. But one thing I could say this will always do say, and which is big for me. She said, you motherfucking right. 
Miami raising four children by herself, and yes, she was on Section 8. But it's been almost two years now that she has worked to get herself off of Section 8. That's big. That's big. A lot of people ain't working to get themselves off Section 8. A lot of people happy to have Section 8 and ain't trying to do nothing to get off that motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? That's big. That's big. But, you know, again, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, before we go to print the thing at the parents and at the te I mean at the at the at the chair and at the teachers and all that. Well, better yet, before we start pointing the finger at the pet, before we start pointing the finger at the chair, let's point the fingers at the guardian because you can't say parents because the parents, all parents, ain't raising their churn. So let's say we got to start pointing the fingers at the teachers, at the staff, and at the guardians. Mm -hmm. Now let that stand. Uh huh. Yeah, because they got bitches who won't stand next to me in a motherfucking club and ain't got none of their children. Their mamas and their aunties and their grandparents raising their children. So now you got the great-grandparents raising the grandchild. The great-grandparents can barely walk. Mm -hmm. So when your child out here, one, two, three, four o'clock in the morning, breaking people's cars, and the great-grandparents don't know what's going on because the great-grandparents took their insulin at 8 o'clock and they sleep. They don't know what's going on. Why the mama popping pussy in the club and the daddy is selling nickel bags of weed on the corner. Fat is here. Say what I say and I'm going to say it again. It takes a village and I'm going to have my event October 28th and my vision is to bring the parents and the school together because we could keep blaming the kids, but the kids ain't always wrong. And guess what? Ten toes down, boots on the ground. I'm speaking from experience. Me as a parent, I hold myself accountable and say some of my kids' behavior started at my house and some of it was learned in the schools. But as a teacher, I'm going back from back then, like I tell my children. My teacher was my solid rock. My teacher was how I got in Warren Easton. Didn't pass, but I got in there. I teach my children your character will get you in the dope, and you don't even have to have the skill. You get it? A lot of the deans ain't qualified. Ain't. But their character got them in the door. I build relationships in the school. I'm that parent that build relationships with the teachers, the social workers, the deans. That's why I'm having the event. Because when it came knocking at my door, I know what it's about. If y'all think they got places for your children for weeks to deal with their behavior, ain't got it. I'm speaking from experience. So the purpose of my event is to bridge the gap. I want the teachers there. I want the schools there. Because some of them are not compassionate. You have to know how to deal with children. Yeah, they disrespectful. They talking shit. They talking shit in here. But I can't keep beating them up. Let's start there first. <laughs> can't keep beating them up. It's so much I, I can say, but I talk to my children and they know what's up. You can't keep beating them up. Your child protection can knock on my door for oops upside in their head while child protection can't go to the school grounds. What? Yeah, they talk is shit. You learn that in college. They teach you that about behaviors with the children. Let's talk about it. Let's well, man, talk they about fired, it. Well, they, they fired a good teacher, coach from the I school. I don't for like that. They don't like, I don't like that. They fired him for teaching if he was done with his lesson. Like, that's the goal, right? The goal and is say, about and the kids. The, key, the, the, the goal, the goal should be to keep the kids. I, I the, don't need the, this to go out. The goal, the goal should be to keep the kids engaged. And if he's a life coach in the school, exactly. dancing is what they do in New Orleans. What are we talking about? I'm just, I'm just being honest. You know how they have jobs. They wait for an opportunity to get rid of you. Skip got on live. They fired him. They use line dancing to get him out to do. That other guy got on live. For whatever situation, they use whatever to get him out to do. You get what I'm saying? Like, let's be real. But I'm going to stand behind it. It takes a village because my village strong. My village keeps me out of jail. I don't know about y'all. 
So that's why I came up with this event because I have so many people. It's like once I voiced what I was going through, I have so many people that came to me that's going through this. But it's still not okay. You know, it's like you going through this. You know, they, they're encouraging you to let you know you're not, you're not by yourself. But at the end of the day, I am a thinker. And I sat back and I evaluated me. I evaluated well, like me. I, like, well, like I expressed to you, I just don't. And I understand. I understand you evaluated yourself. But like I expressed to you, I don't like that. Because when we was raised, when we were raised, our mamas, let's start there. Our parents, our guardians taught us, do as I say, not as you see. And bitch, we did as we as they say. But we do that too. The parents today, we do that. No, too. the parents today won't be but, their friend. Well, no, I, I ain't doing it. You know, I do believe that you can be a child friend, but you could be their parent. You got to be their parent first. Me being your friend, no, I'm not going to condone you smoking weed. Not. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm sorry. Like I'm just not about to do that. Weed is a downer. I do know successful people that do it and smoke it and do whatever they. I am not going to be that parent. I'm and, just saying, like, I'm not about to do that. And then the kid reached out to me and say, you know, kid, I want to talk to you. And then when they talking to me, they lighting up a blunt, and I let them smoke it because it's gonna calm them down and it's gonna make them wanna talk. And as they talking, they puffing and talking and puffing. But my mama say, my mama say, they be young. It be boys and girls. They be young, 15, 14. The 14 year olds, when they walk up to me with a book section, they come out, they want to talk. I put the phone in my hand and press 9 1. 1. And one wrong, oops, I'm pressing the go button. I'm when they go walk up with a book section, I let them talk. I don't even know what be going on. I feel Listen, like my mama's 61 years old. My mama said she started smoke, smoking at the age of nine. My mama said she started smoking cigarettes at the age of nine. She said her mama let her smoke, but she had to smoke inside, not outside. That's what she said. Um, I do feel like this here. Um, my mama smoked cigarettes. She used to send me to the store of the light. It was something about that first smell. I liked it. I smoked it, but after that, I didn't like it. My mama well, smoked cigarettes at home. I well, you just that that yourself, well, you just said it yourself, the weed is a downer. If the children go smoke weed and be down, let them smoke the weed and be down. Because mm -hmm. guess what? When they down and they down, they inside, they focus, and they ain't out there well, robbing see, and jacking. Look, I'm all for it. That's like a baby I who keeps crying. Don't let me watch a child because if I watch your baby. But listen, listen, I'm listen. It's like a baby. People. No. Listen, a child is like a baby. If the child, if the baby keep crying and crying and I'm babysitting, I'm giving them all the candy he or she won't. Eat it. Please. If that's going to make you shut up, eat all the candy you won't. That's what I'm saying. You got to do something to fix it. Now, if you got to, sometimes you got to get down on the child's level to understand them better. The children be going through stuff. You're not going to be a child forever. I need my children independent. Yes. Lord. You, you say but you want to go to LSU? To be even doing independent? You just said you, you know said you want to go to LSU. What's the requirements to get in LSU? You How much it costs to get in yes. LSU? That's why your children What's get the with ACT you. You contradict yourself. You just said out your own mouth, you know a lot of successful people who smoke weed. What's no, I ain't never said that. I say I know people who smoke weed and they go about their day. I'm sorry, T. I'm nah, not going to the ways of the world. This, this line I'm is not going to the ways of the world. That ain't me, fam. I'm this, not gonna do it. I know when I smoke weed, I go to sleep. When I smoke said, weed, I go to you sleep. You know people that smoke weed that's successful in life. You said that, man. Well, I contradicted myself. I don't want my children doing it. Fuck it. I see. Oh, I don't want that for my children. And the people I'm talking about is adults. Let's start there first. Not fourteen. So you think people who smoking weed they just started smoking weed when they was adults? It don't matter. I don't want mine doing it. You got it? Understandable. Right. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah. understandable. But yeah, yeah. But, the, the, but you was born up in the 19, whatever you was born up in. The times have changed, man. You know what I told my children? You what know, I had my... to realize? I felt like I was hiding a lot of things that I was doing because... There you go. Said, See, I, I don't I like when you talk like that. You talking about hiding? Girl, that is true. No, let, it's, let me explain. I, I was hiding a lot of things from my children because... I didn't want them to think that it was okay, right? But then I realized me doing that, 
My children saw me as perfect. And it was like they couldn't come to me. So I had to explain to them that I did smoke weed. But I also let them know why I stopped. I don't know how to go and know. If, if, if they randomly drug test me, I could have lost my job. And who going to provide for you? I'm sorry. I know y'all said they could hide the pee and all that. I didn't know how to do all that. So I let it go. That's what I explained to them. So you have to decide how does that line up with your life? You say you won't play sports. What if they randomly drug test you? If you choose to do that, you got to know the consequences behind it. It's consequences behind your actions. So it's the end of the world if the children smoke weed. I'm it's not the end of the world, but how is that lined up with the goals you have for yourself? So smoke and weed is throwing your life away? I'm just trying to see something. If they randomly drug test you and you don't know how to hide the urine and all of that, what you're working towards, you're losing that. So you have to decide what's more important. What was more important for me was providing for my children. You're right. But you, what's more important? You, but once, sometimes, I, like I said, sometimes you got to understand I, the child. I understand them, but at the okay, same time. Okay, you see, that's what you always listen. You I always don't want to raise listen. no children forever, baby. My goal is to get my children independent and get on their own. Yeah. I don't yeah. want my children. All right. Thank, to you for, for, thank you for doing it, babe. Thank you for doing it. Because, see, you talk and don't like to listen. You, I understand you don't want your children smoking weed. Understandable. I get it. I understand, but some of these children are too far gone. Let them smoke the weed. If that's going to turn them down, smoke all the weed if you want. If it's going to turn you down, if it ain't going to make you shoot somebody in the head, if it's going to calm you down, if it's going to make you not go steal a people call, smoke the weed, please. That's all I'm saying. If it's going to help them, let's help them. If it's going to get them from out the streets, smoke it. If they're going to stop shooting at people, smoke it. If they're going to stop stealing people's cars, smoke it. That's it. I understand that it don't look good for a child to smoke weed. But smoking weed calms them down. Y'all give them these pills. Y'all stuff these pills down their throat. It calms them down. What's the difference? You want them to take the pills and be pill heads? Or you want them to smoke the weed and calm down? At the end of the day, the end of the result is calming these bad motherfuckers down. What the Lord have mercy. Oh Lord. Just calm them down. Let them smoke the weed, y'all. If they smoke the weed, maybe they'll stop sitting out causing all that fuck. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Y'all make a mountain out of a mole here. That's why them children say some of y'all old people is aggravated at this point. I don't sing your child over here. Because if your fucking child is bad and crying and all they want is candy, eat the whole bag. Eat the whole bag. If your child is trying to shoot somebody or steal somebody's car and they, got, they can't calm themselves down and they smoke weed, here, smoke the whole gun. What they call, smoke the whole back wood. Better yet, smoke the back and front wood if that's going to calm you down. Lord have mercy. One weed means to put a million more years on their life. Let's start there first. Let's save the chair. Fuck. We wasn't perfect. We wasn't perfect. How many of y'all was sneaking, sucking dick? Let's talk there first. How many of y'all were sneaking, playing catch, catch, get a little bit? Let's talk there first. See, as, as parents, yes, we we, 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 we we teach our children to be better than what we were. Understandable. Understandable. But let's not be perfect. Let's not be perfect. Let's not be perfect. That's all I'm going to say. Let's not be perfect. Because a lot of you bitches I grew up with, let's talk there first. Let's talk there first. A lot of people I grew up with, look at stay late. How stay late? What's going on? I done call stay late hopping in my window at night. I done call stay late. I done pulled up on stay late. Stay late was flattening all the tires on the car. So if stay late was smoking weed and she was calmed down, she wouldn't have been taking the TV out the window. She wouldn't have been busting the windows on the car. She wouldn't have been flattening the tires on the car. She wouldn't have been spitting in that boy's face and jumping out the car on Claybone. Maybe if she was smoking weed. That's all. Daryl, let's see. I clicked something in the comments. Yeah, I mean, Daryl, let's talk about this in person. Y'all got to stop. And another thing, I, I'm happy y'all here. I want to tell y'all this part here because y'all don't know this part right here. Let me tell y'all this part right here. This part right here, when y'all be out in them clubs 
buying them new clothes and buying them new shoes and buying drinks and getting your hair done, nails done, getting your hair cut, tricking them, um, buying them girls drinks and buying them girls shoes and all and all that. Them children see that. And them children come tell me, Key. The children come say, Key, my daddy don't do nothing for me, but he bought this, this, and that for her. They say, Key, my mama don't want to give me no new shoes. Look at these shoes beat up. But yet, she gave him this, this, and that, or she did this, this, and that for her, or she was in a club this day and that day, or she ain't come home till six in the morning. Them children see that, and they tell me, uh-huh, I just be spaying you bitches. But you know what? I'm about to stop spaying you bitches and stop putting y'all on the front line. And maybe when you show up to the club, you have your receipt that you bought your child some new shoes. Let's start there. But we that's neither here nor there. But I'm going to start exposing you bitches since that's what we, we need to do. Because uh, see, we like to get on here and talk about what other people are doing. And, and, and but you did forget to see what I'm doing. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's start there. Or do y'all want me to start posting on the children who I got dressed for homecoming dances and primes and all of that. Ubers and all of that. They done went to football practice or they done went to chili to practice a majorette practice. Calling mama to come get him, but guess what? Mama wasn't answering. Daddy wasn't answering. I need a ride home. I'm stuck. Phone going dead. Mr. Key, could you send me an Uber? Uh-huh. I could do that. Uh-huh. But see, I'm not that petty. I never uploaded because I fucks with the children. And I done been in them shoes before. Bitch, I wouldn't want nobody to know that my mama couldn't do this for me or my daddy couldn't do this for me or my grandparents couldn't do this for me. Bitch, my auntie couldn't do this for me. They ain't have it. I couldn't do it. Now I'm out. Bitch, I know how that look. Because they had the children come to school every day with the, back in the day when I was in school, Jaws wasn't as popular. It was the 95s and the 97s. See them Nike 95s? Bitch, the 95s was the answer. Bitch, I wanted a pair. Now I could buy all the 95s I want. Now I could buy all the 95s I want. So I know how the fuck it feels. Yeah, I could easily call, you know, y'all like to throw my friends in it. You know, y'all like to throw my friends in it. Let's talk about it. I could easily call Brooke. You said y'all like to see them people name. I could easily call uh, D-Roy. I could call Miami, Corey, Keezer. I could easily call them. Y'all send me something. Y'all I went by Keezer house Sandy. She got a big old thing in the front, in the front room. She getting... A uh, uh, um a uh, uh, a a baby a bridal child then together. You done bought this little girl who's pregnant, child all kind of stuff, all kind of baby clothes, diapers and lotion. I could call my friends for that, but it's embarrassing. So you know what? I do it. I do it, and that's be my biggest prayer when I go to church on Sundays. Lord, listen, I ain't got it all. I ain't balling. But bitch, I ain't broken borrowing. Let's start there first. Let's start there first. I ain't broken begging. Neither borrowing. I ain't balling. But I done helped a lot of children. And God will give it back to me. You better know that. Watch. That's why every chance, every chance I get to show up and show out, I do it. Y'all taking this stunt and showing off. No, bitch, I'm just letting y'all know how God don't play behind me. What's up? Let me read this paragraph, Miami bro. Girl, he always make a mockery out of a real situation. He don't realize the power he have, and yet he use it for foolishness. That's why them people don't want you in the, at the schools now. Yeah, Miami, you saying anything. Fat, you must be drunk because I'm booked to go to Higgins Thursday. What's up? I'm booked to go to East St. John next week. What's up, Fat? Yeah, Miami, you saying anything out your mouth. You saying anything. I'm booked to go to Booker T next month. What's up, Miami? What we talking about, Fat? Yeah, you got to make it make sense, Fat. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to your village and go to sleep, baby. Yeah. You crazy. You just talking to hear yourself talk. But if you want to call me to the schools that I'm booked at, you could come, Faye. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, you going crazy, Faye. You saying anything out of your mind at this point. We got to make it make sense. My enemy. Y'all got to get on this internet and stop saying something. And don't know what y'all talking about. Hello. Hello. <laughs> mm. 
I didn't book Miami. I'm just saying, you know, what it is. She just be saying stuff because she gets upset and she let her fingers go to rolling and she just be saying things she don't know nothing about. I ain't playing on Miami. Miami says I'm not just it. Hello. Hello. Going to the school alone and discuss my vision for my event by myself because you're making a mockery of what's going on with these kids. How's a mockery? How's a mockery? You don't know everything, Fat. That's what people be saying. You don't know everything. You don't know everything. Sometimes that's why the people don't be wanting to hear what you got to say. You got to stop acting like you know everything. Sometimes it's easier to listen. You can raise your churn how you raise your churn. There's no book on how to raise churn. Your people raise their churn to what they see fit. If your child, your baby child over here crying and all that, and all it wants is a piece of candy, giving them two pieces. What's up? What's up? That's just how that's just everybody parenting skills are different, right? Yes, Lord. Whatever I can get to first. If it's the bottle or candy, I'm giving it to them to shut them up. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. Or this is what I was looking for right here. That's crazy. Okay, Pink might give them folks when they wake up, stuff another one down and through. What are we talking about, girl? Please. Hey, ma'am, how you doing? So what's going on on Aberson, girl? So much. So much. So, I have three daughters that go to eight. I have a junior and my twins are sophomores. So, it all started like last year. It was a big bullying incident. And I try to go to the school, try to work it out with them internally. Just keep in mind that I'm an alumni from class of 03. So, at eight percent? At eight. So, you know, I was trying to work with them. So... They didn't do what they needed to do. So as a parent advocating for my kids, I had to go over their head. I went to the school board. I wrote an email to the school board. They contacted me. I wrote to the board of the members of the Collegiate Academy. And I also got in contact with the CEOs of the Collegiate Academy. They want to know right into me. We got in contact. We had several meetings, you know, face-to-face -face meetings. We were supposed to have worked out everything last year. They ensured me that my kids was going to be good. We wasn't going to have any issues with none of the things that happened last year was going to affect them this year. I said, okay, cool. That's not the case. So my daughter had an incident a few weeks ago. She got into it with an upperclassman and theater class. They had words that Friday. A couple of weeks ago, her twin had a fight with one of the girls that she had the conflict with. So before I left to go out the country last week, um, I met with the admins. They ensured me that one of the twins that did not have a fight, she didn't pass the lick. She received a in-school suspension and an out-of-school suspension. The twin that did have the physical fight received a three-day suspension. Well, initially when she was picked up from school, they said that she was going to have a five-day. But when the administrator contacted me, he changed it to three days. So when I went to the school to talk to him, because I'm like, I don't think that they should have any of those kind of consequences, because I felt like she was defending herself, especially after we received a message and a recording that I played for them, where the student is saying that the girl swung at my daughter multiple times and my daughter avoided her from trying to get hit and the girl finally connected and when she connected all the students that was holding her back let her go because they knew all hell was about to break loose and she whooped the girl ass that's just what happened and because of that she got that consequence so I went to the school the next day. When I'm telling you, you get to the school, and I'm only speaking from my experience. Every time I get there, 
The principal looks at me dead in my eye. He rolls his eyes at me. Every time. It never fails. Never fails. This man rolls his eyes at me, literally. The administrators look at you in your face. They don't recognize you. They don't acknowledge you. They just look, you're just like a stain on a the wall. They walk past you. They don't say anything. So I'm just standing there. And I'm like, okay. So when we did get there, they had like a little incident with another student. And it was like a medical thing. I have to take care of your business. I tell you, nowhere to lie. I was in that school for like damn near an hour and a half before I was able to have a sit down with the administrators to even discuss why I was there. And they already knew why I was coming because I spoke to um, Mr. Johnson, who is one of the administrators for the sophomores prior to that the day before. So it's like you already knew I was coming. At so, eight, right? At eight. So what's going on? So when I get there, he's like, oh, they told me I can't change the consequence. And I'm like, what you mean you can't change the consequence? You're the, you're, you're the dean. How can you not change it? I mean, the consequences that you're giving, it doesn't fit to what the issue is. So he was like, well, I can't change it. I'm like, well, look, I'm not leaving. I need to speak with someone. So he was like, well, we about to have a fire drill. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to stay through on the fire drill. But I'm not leaving the school until we speak with someone. So even after the fire drill, I still had to wait for like 25 to 30 minutes. I'm at the front office with the firefighters, just sitting around. And they're looking at me, and I'm looking at them, and they're like, well, dog. All the teachers still looking at me like, he's still here? And I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, okay. Every time you get there, it's like they want to make me out to be this angry black person, like this angry black mother. And it's like, I'm not. I'm just advocating for my kids. And I know my kids is right. So I'm going to go behind them, and I'm going to stand 10 toes behind them. That's just what it is, especially because I know they're right. So. I finally was able to get in the office and I'm telling them what's going on. So they was like, well, we know that your child defended herself because she got hit first, but just because she forced, she still got to have the suspension. And I'm like, okay. And it was like, well, because your other daughter did not fight, she still got to have the one day suspension because they had to hold her back. And I'm like, because y'all giving her a one day suspension because somebody had to hold, hold her back. And it was like, yeah, Anyone that got to be refrained, they automatically get an outdated, outdated, um, an out of school suspension. And I'm like, so you give children an out of date suspension because somebody got to hold them back, even though a lick is not passed. I was just like, that didn't make sense to me. So you giving them an out of date suspension because somebody's doing their job. And it was like, yeah, basically that's just what it is or whatever. So I'm like, you know what, going back and forth with them, going back and forth with them. And it was like, well, the girl who actually started the fight and that's the aggressor, she's going to get a five-day suspension. So I'm like, all right, so going back and forth with them, my, my daughter, ever since she started Abramson, has been a 4.0 student. They use her grades for whatever map studies or whatever they need to do to show like their grades to be on the grading sc the scale for whatever they're using for like the point scale for the school they use her she's testing on a junior level in college like they're affecting her school like she had two fights last year behind all of the foolishness and it's like y'all affecting her career y'all affecting her future because she's gonna have the grades but behind her behavior with her fighting and have to stand up for herself, nobody's going to give her no scholarships because they're going to say she has the grades, but her behavior, because all the fights and all of the suspensions, she might get disqualified for scholarships. So this definitely is going to affect her future. And it's like y'all not doing anything and y'all teaching these children that they shouldn't stand up for themselves. So when I sent the message and I wrote the messages and I did that on Instagram, so many parents reached out to me and the same girls that they had the issues with are the same girls that other parents are having issues with this year with the same group of girls. And they've went to the school so many times and the schools still have yet to do anything about this. These girls then had like eight to 10 fights last year and not one time get expelled. 
And I'm like, when I was in school, if you had so many fights, you were expelled. Now it's like it's no more expulsion. It's like it's all behind a dollar. They need you in that seat in order for them to get that dollar for collegiate academy. Whatever it is, it's more of a business now than what it is for children. The uh, morale in that school is so down. It's crazy. Like, it's really, really crazy. So I'm like, I'm telling them I'm going out the country next week. So I need to get whatever I need to get resolved before I go. And it was like, everything's fine. Everything's going to work out. So my daughter was set to go to school Monday on the 2nd. So I'm like, okay, fine. The little girl coming back Wednesday. So because the girl lost the fight and she couldn't take her L, she was all on social media talking about she's going to get her L back. And she was saying that my daughter's them jumped her. At first she said it was my twins that jumped her. Then she said it was three girls that jumped her. Then she said it was four girls that jumped her. So she was all on her social media saying that her family was going to get ready to, you know, get their licks back or whatever. So I was kind of concerned because I'm like, I'm going to be out the country. So your children, I, your children will still go to aid? Yeah, my kids still go to aid. Yeah, you just made a worse phone. So I'm like, you know, no, not really, because the whole thing is, that's what I'm saying, is they're being retaliated from what happened last year. It's like their consequences are more severe than other kids that didn't have issues this year. And it's like, it's not right. If you're going to give consequences, be fair all across the board. Don't handle stuff accordingly to certain people. Don't give things out to certain people accordingly to how you want to do it. If you're going to do it, do it right. And that's all it is. If you're going to be administration, be fair. Don't be biased. And that's just what it is. It's, it's not right. And like, so are you going, back to, going back to school tomorrow? Hell yeah, I'm going back to the school tomorrow. Yeah, I get they, back home Saturday. But the thing is, it's put, like... Put your children out. Because at this point, they could be like, you aggravated. That's the thing. Everybody keeps saying put them out, but you can't. With this one app, you really are tied to these schools. I have three children. When you do the one app, you got to have a slot for a school that has availability or an opening for three slots for a school. When you look, when, so once wait, you so, so out, if the children are still, if the children are still in school and they got suspended for one day, what's the problem? They didn't get suspended for one day. I had one child that got suspended for one day in school and out of school, and the other one was suspended for three days. She went from a 4.0 to a 3.5 in three days because she received all kind of Fs and her grades dropped because she wasn't physically in school to do participation. She wasn't able to do the grades and do her studies and her classwork like she so was. The, okay, so the suspensions is done. Like, that's done. You just got to move on from that. You just got to ask her no, to get her head from move on from that. Because the thing about it is the girl. You, you let me finish what I was saying. I said that okay. we got to move on from that because they've been suspended already. The suspension is over now. So now you have to move on and ask her, can they have makeup work so she can bring a grade point average back up? No. You see, the thing is, she did the work while she was on suspension while she was on suspension it's the in-class participation that her grades went down because she wasn't physically there the issue that's at hand is what are you fussing for like what you fussing for like what, let, what, what is your fuss with the school let, let me let me finish you understand that whole lot we're trying to find let out let me tell you so the administration said that the girl who was the aggressor was supposed to get a five-day suspension and she did not she wound up getting three days right along with my daughter. So the thing is, how can you give both of them the same consequence when she did nothing but defend herself? And that's the issue at hand. It's like y'all not fair with these consequences. So the girl would have got two more, two more days suspension, you'll be fine. No, the thing about it is I want, yeah, I want them to do what they said they were gonna do. And I'm tired of them playing these games. That's the- How long, how long ago that was? This, this just happened. This just happened. So, so since the school made the decision and it, it's done, which I'm trying to find out what's the reason that, for you keep going back to school? Because my kids' grades are being affected. What you're, the understanding is she went from a 4.0 to a 3.5 within three days. That's a lot. Yeah, but it's still like what the first quarter, it's still the first quarter of school. She it can bring it up. Do you know how hard it is to work to get a 4.0? to stay and maintain that. She's been having that since she was in the ninth grade. This is not something that's just been happening. It's been going on since she was a freshman at Abramson.
Right, I understand it. So, like, this is still the first quarter, and she can still bring those grades up. She's going to bring them back up. She shouldn't have to keep on working extra hard for something that is out of her hand from having students and trying to defend herself. If someone hits you, you have the right to defend yourself. Right. You have the right to defend yourself. But the thing about it is you have other kids that's fighting at the school that's not getting any consequences. They just had a little boy that walked up to another student and popped him, and they only gave him a two-day suspension. You have other kids that's fighting that's not getting so, any consequences. I think we got I think we got and I understand what you're saying. As a parent, as for your children, I understand what's going on. But at the end of the day, when the children make, when the, when, the, when the administrators and the school make the decision, it is what it is. But it shouldn't be like that, though. You're right. But I mean, that's, that's, their job. that's the issue. That's their job, and I guess each situation is warranted on the severity. But that's the issue, and that's what makes the problem. Because the thing about it is, as administration, if you're going to have rules, so there's the reason why I'm saying that because there's people from Aberson who work who works at Aberson who's DM right now telling me they're first saying that the children have a 4.0, they have a 2.0. 2 I don't know. That's just what they're saying. They say you don't have two children; you have three children in school. At I said school. I have three children, and first of all, my child that I'm talking about are my twins. And my daughter has a 4.0, and she just brought down to a 3.5. Oh, so there must be the other two, two that has the 2.0. Because that's what they're saying. I don't know. I don't know who's telling you that information. It's administrators who work there. But, I mean, that's neither here nor there. So, I mean, I, at this point, I mean, I think what they said is what they said. I mean, I, I, what, you're fussed. So what, you're going back to school every day to do what? Is what I'm trying to find out. They listen to advocate here. for my kids. And what I'm going to do is advocate for my kids. Because it's not fair and it's not right. If you're going to give consequences, be fair with your consequences. I totally agree with that. But, they, they, but, but, but what I'm trying to get you to understand is they done made the decision. They done done what they was going to do. But why, but why do you feel like that's even fair? If you have I a child that's fair, 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 I said, oh, why do they think it's fair? No, they, why do they think? No, my thing is this. If you're going to tell me you're going to do something, be a person of your word. To be honest, they don't have to tell you what they're going to do with somebody else's child. They don't have to tell you nobody else's business. They can see what they're going to do with no, your child. No, if you're going to tell me you're going to give another child five days, give that child five days. Don't tell me you're going to give that child five days, and then it turns around you're giving your, that child only three days, and you're giving my child three days on the same consequence. That's not right. Because I would have kept fighting on it. You're not going to give that child three days and give my child three days. That's not right. When that child hit my child first, and my child did what she needed to do to try to avoid that fight. So I don't think there's, they're just, they're not saying who's right and who's wrong in the fight. They're, they're just saying there was a fight that happened, and these are the consequences for having a fight. But that's not, not right. And that's not how to, and that's what I'm saying. That's not the right narrative that should be said. I understand. I understand, but that's just, I, mean, thing, I guess it's that, their rules are their rules. I mean, they, you, you could go you could go there every day to you blue in the face. They're not going to change their mind and go do what they want to do, period. This is what I get to understand. If you have a fight, if me and you have a fight in the street and I hit you, we both going to judge for fighting. And when we get to the court, it's not the police decision. Of, it's not the police decision to say who's right and who's wrong. We go go to court and the judge will say who's right and who's wrong. That's just how it is. The school, the, say, the school say this is what it is. They both got three days and that's it. So you keep going back down there for nothing. That's oh. what it seems like. Mm -mm. No. Do you see? So you do you think that's gonna give you any change? You see, that's what I'm saying. You're talking about street life, and I'm talking about education. No, I'm asking you a question. So do you think they're gonna change anything? They're gonna do something what about you, my child. What do you want done? I want them to do what they need to do to make sure my child. Okay, and what is that? I'm asking you. So what is that? I'm trying to tell you, my child' future is being affected by this. They're gonna need to do what they need to do to make sure that all her grades that went down. They're going to need to figure out what they're going to need to do to make sure that she can ensure to get her 4.0 back. That's not right on what happened. They're going to do it. So you, and that's the thing. Want them to, so you, you want them to raise her 4.0 back up? Everything, the whole thing about it is, and what you don't know, and I'm trying to keep it, like, real short. And okay, I'm, I'm, asking you a question. Like, I'm trying to ask you a question. What, what do you want? Like, what do you want from them? Do you want them to raise her grade point average back up? No. I don't want them to give her nothing that she does. She's earned that. She's earned that. Oh. She's earned that. What I want them to do is stop playing in my face and stop taking it out on my children. Because that's what it is. They are, are retaliating against my children from me advocating for my kids. They are mad because I went over their head 
because they didn't do their jobs. So now they're trying to cover and see why they ate their cells, but they left their cells open. Because they didn't give the girl, the other girl five days to give her No, days. that's what I'm saying. This is something that happened last year. This was the issues that happened way last year. But what's the that issue now? The issue. Oh, that's what I'm asking you, what's the issue now? Like, what are you going back and put the school so, for now? I am just told you, my kid received three days from defending herself. And a girl who hit her, who was the aggressor. And this is the current fight, right? This is the current the fight. The current right? fight. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So, How is that fair when she received the same consequence? They were involved in a fight, and I guess they warranted that they were in a, both involved in a fight. But so how would you feel like that is even fair? Well, I, I don't, I, no matter how you feel or how I feel, that's the school that's rules, I guess. Not the school rules when I just told you that another child walked up on another student and hit another student and only got two days. The consequences are not even across the board. I guess, the, it, I guess they, 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 they do their rulings on each situation. But no, but that's the but, thing. You need to go get an application, though, baby. You need to go work for the school and make no. it go there and, and, and make it better. You need to go get your application there. Because, I mean, at this point, you going down there every but day. No, but no, but you see, that's the thing, though. It shouldn't be like that because that affects people's lives. That affects children's futures. They, they, I'm they, advocating they, they, for my child because my child can't advocate for herself. And it's not right. Ma'am, they've been in school for three months. But the, it, it doesn't matter whether or not they was in school for six years or not. The thing about it is, my, my, what I'm saying is, they've been in school for three months. It doesn't matter. They got five, the time they got five or six more it months of school. She could bring the she could bring the three point five back up. Three months, it, those, those three months that they were in school, she worked her ass off to maintain that four point oh. Well, it must be more, more to it because I just can't understand for the life of me. In three days, how could a child go from a four point oh to a three point five? That just don't make sense. And you said they did they did work while they were suspended. No, no, that can't go like that. It's, the whole thing is, she got an F for the assignment from the day that she had the fight she got an f on the other assignment that they needed to do for i'm saying the participation grade she got 50 because she wasn't in class to participate so she has three days of school work from all four of her teachers that she was not able to do all those grades add up those 50 those f adds up and that's bringing down but you just said that when they suspended her, they gave her work to do yes she didn't she do work wasn't physically in class to participate. So they take so she went down from four point to three point five because she's she not went in school. So she's an A in the class to C. So she has three A's and a C. So now she went from a four point zero to a three point fifty. Okay. So what I'm saying is she have six more months. She could bring it up. But she shouldn't have to work extra hard. She don't have to work extra hard. Just continue doing what she's doing, but and she's going to right back up. Is she being penalized from defending herself? Because she was involved defending. in a fight. I understand but that. I understand you saying that she's defending she, herself. I understand that. And in most fights, they're going to say that they were defending themselves. But evidently, she was involved in a fight, and they just warranted her suspension on her being involved in a fight, period. They're not saying who was right, who was wrong. They just, she got three days because she was involved in a fight. I guess the rule is fighting three days, period. But no, it's not the rule. That's what I'm telling you. It's not well, the that rule. Was, they rule for that situation. No, that was their rule for her. But the other girl got three days too. She, she got three days. But any other child, that's what I'm telling you. My daughter got three days, but she shouldn't have never gotten three days. So both of your daughter and the girl who your daughter probably got three days. Yeah. So they make it. They made it fair. I they didn't make it fair. Because I'm quite, quite sure your daughter's saying that she was attacked, and the other girl, I'm quite sure, saying that she was attacked. Right. That's mostly how. I, that's that's how I go. I'm in the call. I, I I didn't hear what you mean. That's how I go. I'm quite sure that your daughter saying that she was attacked, and I'm quite sure the girl who your daughter fight saying that your daughter attacked but that's her. The thing. There's a recording. There's witnesses that says that they have seen everything. They have the investigation. Students already said that she was hit first. So it wasn't. I'm quite sure they got, and, I, and I, I'm quite sure that some students that say they said otherwise. No, <laughs> one else said otherwise. Okay. Well, I don't know, ma'am. I mean, I don't know. So good luck. I don't know what a, what's going on. I don't know. So, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what they're saying, but one thing I know is Abramson's going to do whatever they got to do to cover themselves. But I'm going to continue to advocate and fight for my child. All right.
many, how many people up there? Up here, I'm trying to add. How many people are staying up there? It's saying me and three other people because not allowing me to add other people. How many people are saying up there? My screen is going to start moving everywhere. I can't see comments or nothing. I'm about to get off of here, but I'm going to be on here. 2-2, two, two, I don't know what's going on. Good luck being, a, being a, uh, working in schools. So listen, I'm getting off here at 10 o'clock, so I got five, 10 minutes. Damn, all these people trying to get on here that fast? I don't know what's going on. In a little while, they will say that the children can't go to school no more because this is unbelievable. She fussing over 4.0. Girl, I had a 1.5 the whole time I was in school. I just had enough points to, to march. <laughs> Being honest, I had a 1.5 the whole time in school. I had enough to march. I passed, though. What's up? I had a 1. Point, man, that's not fair, Keith. Ten minutes, but Ross, that thing gave me a headache. Bitch, I kept a one point five the whole time I was in school. Line line, I kept a one point five. I was so grateful for that one point five. I was able to march and I was able to graduate on time. Never got kept back with a one point five. Oh, I swear, <laughs> a one point five. And what's happening with my one point five? Key, she talking about she went out the country. I'm think she got a flight. I was able to march, and I graduated on time. Did you call the village? Did you for real? The village is needed for this. I'm going to have to go in prayer, and I'm going to have to fast on this because it's heavy. And, you know, it's personal for me. You know what I'm saying? Because when I see these kids, I see my children. But one, one thing I do say all the time, I held me accountable for my children acting for the way and how they acting. Anytime my children in a situation, I always use it as an opportunity to teach them. You got a 4.0, you drop to a 3.5, what they told you. What you could have did differently. How we can handle this moving forward. They bullying you, you come to me the first time. Ain't nobody gonna bully my children last year and come to this game bully them. Ain't nowhere in the world. That, that fight shouldn't have never happened. But it happened. So we're going to use that fight to learn something. And let me just be real with you. She lucky they even allowed him to make to up. To come back. So she lucky they even allow her to make up the assignments. Because you suspended. They don't have to allow you to make up the assignments. It's at the discretion of the teacher. That's why I said that the vision for my event is to bridge the gap between the school so what's and the, the parents. What, what's the vision because for you? Because I'm, coming. Coming. So, I'm coming to the event. So let me, you confuse all what I mean about the village. The village don't mean that I'm expecting these people to raise my children. No. The village was... I never said that. If you were wrong, you did say that. If, Girl, you're very controversial, you're controversial, but I'm listening. Go ahead. You are...
But you know we do this offline, but you we bought do. it online. But I got to you remind you. Here. I got to remind you, I'm not one of your folk. He is grown and on my own. Yeah, and go tell see, you how I feel. That's why you like to press the button on here, but you already know when it's off the scene, you can't press you no button. You call my phone. You ain't gonna call you my phone hit. like it's go block you. You go here. Say, what's up? I'll pull up at your house. You already know what's up. You yeah. trying to bust my tires. Yeah, because you got to stop all it. Yeah, for real. But what I'm saying is the village, I ain't saying they going to raise your children because I'm going to raise mine. Raising mine. But the village is the people that is in support with you, stand with you, not against you. And that's what I think the disconnect is. Everybody showing up with a chip on their shoulder, ready to wrestle, ride, ride, ride. No. You got to hit a side. Because, see, I beat behind my chair head first too, until the embarrassment and the egg on my face. So they did that one time. Now I'm showing up. And I want to hear what happened. But even after I hear what happened, you know what I tell my children? You can't win against them teachers. You come home and you get me. And I'm still going to show up professional with my sister soldier hat on. How you doing? You walk in my school as my parents. With, with big words. Hat on. You walk walking in with the sister soldier hat on. I'm going to call her, um, what's the black people name? I'm just the Black Panthers. I'm going to call her Black Panther because that's what you look like with that hat on. That's embarrassing. Well, this is what's going on. I'm in war mode. So this is what I'm wearing so we get it right with these shirts. Now, if they want me to get this off my head, get it right with these shirts. Until then, I'm wearing this hat. We got and then to on Sundays. show a So then you advocate for the children Monday through Friday, and then on Sundays you're walking next to the bass drum at the second line. Well, I got to get my time in. The bass drum relaxes me. I don't need weed. The bass drum and the snare, that's it, and the tuba. All them other people, they could, well, we could do the cowbell. But what I'm saying is, in order for this to work, y'all, everybody got to show accountability. The parents, the students, the teachers, everybody got to come together. We not against each other. If the goal is for them to be successful citizens, because right? that's what I want. That's why I'm fighting. Because I don't want my child 35 years old on my sofa. I don't want him 35 years old on my sofa. I don't want that. I'm sacrificing my husband right now because I got to get these children together. So I got to get the children together. You got to show accountability. I would have made a point. You went from a 4.0 to a 3.5. Now, Sally, what could you have done differently? Could you, before the fight happened, before they could have got to you, you know you in an area with somebody who don't like you, remove yourself from that area. Go to the, it's ways around it. That's all I'm saying. Use these opportunities to teach these children. Because I'm, I'm in here talking. I'm doing a lot of talking now. But My yeah, mouth you, dry. You do, you do a lot of talking. But then you flip the camera, you got your shoes on and your purse. I have to put them on. But my village told me I can't keep fighting like that i'm fighting another way you get what i'm saying i got to put my shoes on i might slip down with slippers so i keep my tennis shoes ready but what i'm saying is the village supports me they helps me i could call them and say this would happen before i bust a nose or a lip you get what i'm saying that's what i want these families to have but i also got people in the background talking to me saying you can't say that to them children. When you mad, you say things, but it has an effect. So now I'm learning to control my mouth because you could you saying all that to them children and now they're going to the school saying all that because they think that's how you handle things. You get what I'm saying? So in your house, it don't go what goes on in my house, stays in my house? That don't, that rule don't apply in your house? Um... I don't say all that. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never see anything. Like what goes on in my house? No, I don't really be saying all that. Because even if the people knock on my door, my rules ain't gonna change. So I just know you, how to work. You, you pull on side of the road when you as soon as you hit that night walk part, you pull on side of the road and go to bust and open. If my ass school bust and open, it's a problem for real. So if so, if the people telling me my you bust it open at school, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna see what well, damn. I be busting it open like I'm gonna know. That's where my child got it from. I'm really going to be real, like, I'm just being real. Y'all got to stop lying. If my mom, if my daughter busting it open at the school, 
I know she saw it from me. I'm not going to sit there and lie and say she saw it on a video. Because, I, I, you know, Magnolia sure to come over. I just don't know. The beat dropped. But what I'm saying is I'm showing accountability that now I got to talk to my and say, my, uh, don't do that at school. We only do that at house parties. That's all I'm saying. Show accountability for what's going on with your children and find another way and say, right. that ain't how they go. So That's you ain't dropping for the night. Thing. So you ain't no more dropping for the desire no more. You can't drop for the desire. I'm no more. Ain't no dropping for the desire. I don't know about all that. I'm 42 years old. My mama, listen, you get off the subject. I'm 42. I can shake for the hood if I want. But what I'm saying is, if my daughter is called and is saying she keeps shaking, I got to change my ways. That's right. I got to change my ways. I got to stop all that because my daughter keeps doing it. It is affecting what she got going on. But my, you don't do all that. My children don't shake. Don't do all that. That's all I'm saying. I hope to see y'all at my event. I gotta I'm gonna make sure I be there. I just wanna see who the village is. I wanna meet the village. I'm there. Would they? My village strong. Would they at the event? October 20th. Would they that fall, fall on? A sad, sad. Well, I could come. I'm, it's a sad. I could come. From 12 to 3. And you got to come with an open mind. And it's gonna have decency I ain't, I'm coming order. with a muzzle on. I ain't saying a word. Yeah, you just come because you, you might learn something. Coming from somebody who got on a Black Panther hat and tennis shoes with the purse on? You got to. But we getting the control in here. I hear him hollering now. Yeah, because they take me to play with too. Everything funny. Right. That's the main one, the village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yeah, but we'll talk afterwards because... Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk because we're going to be busting too much. I'm going to show you. We're going to be busting. We're going to be busting. Yeah. But let me add... Yeah, because you already know. You cannot wrestle me to the ground, and I do think I know everything. And what's up? You know that. Yeah, but you don't be right all the time. It don't matter, but I'm going to still say. Listen. But I'm right back about in, this. Back in the day, back in the day, they used to teach us about... um. Peer pressure and all that. Peer pressure and all that never existed. Nowadays, you get children committing suicide and all that. I ain't never heard of that when I was in school. You know why? Because your mama kept church music on. She kept Anita Baker on. No, she did not. Talk not about mama. good times. Ain't nobody had time to be talking about no suicide and all that. You know, the police told me this. That's why I'm telling y'all. But them people know what's going on. He said, nowadays, the children think if you say you depressed. But what they need to understand, that's a natural emotion. It's okay if you say you're not going to be happy all the time. That don't necessarily mean you're depressed. You're depressed because I took the cell phone. You're depressed because I told you, no, you can't go with your friends. You're not depressed. You just say that I'm not letting you have your way. And kids have to understand that. You know, I, I know depression is real and all that, but that ain't you. Yeah, see, I ain't had that problem. What they depressed about? They don't pay no bills in this bitch. What they depressed about? Kyron knew once I get married. Cell phone. See, Kyron knew. Kyron, you know, Kyron used to not have his cell phone for months. Sometimes I've been and forgot I took the cell phone. He ain't say the word because I was going to sit his head through the front wind, mirror on the house. He already know. I, you know, remember, I Kyle knocked Kyra's TV like, off the wall. Kyle and Kyra looked at me. I know he was in the head saying, stupid. Did knock the TV off the wall. I had to go buy another one. But he ain't had it that night. I ain't damaging my TVs in all day. When you're mad, you do all kinds of sorts of things. That's why I'm, the village, I'm controlling all day. Yeah, the village gonna have you going crazy. Them children gonna beat your ass in there. They gonna be beating you with your ass. Hey. All you be hiding is the Please. village. Boy, you know What's up? I do. You, you you got so much into the village right now. Them children will be in there whooping your ass with chairs, and all you can be hollering is the fighting. village. No, we got to fight another way. Nightwall and Amanasta. Let's talk about that one. Wait, Miami, for real, hold up. Before I ask somebody else, <laughs> tell the people, tell the people what your daughter told you were really mean to me. No, they got to come. <laughs> So they got to come October 28th.
No, that's big though. For real, just give him a little taste. What your daughter told you to get you out of character, Fat? See if you told me that. I had you on mute the whole time, Fat. I was pissy. You hit me? That's I why they got the come freaking. October 28th. I'm sure will hit you below your Be stomach. Belt. Not the belt. They're gonna hit you in the knees. So fat, hold up. So what she said, what she said, what you did? I pray about it. Mm. That's right, Fed. Please don't incriminate yourself. Tell the people, Fed. They come, they're gonna come to support the, the event on the 20th. About I the prayed business. about it. I told they, God could about they come? It. Could the parent bring their children with them? Not this one. No. We're doing a separate one for the children. Because guess what? Them children got a voice too. I had to listen to my children. Y'all gotta listen to them. But when your child told you what they what she told you, you went off the deep end. Tell them what she told you, babe. I call For real, just say that one little part. What happened? And just give us that one little snippet. What happened? So you got to be mindful of what you say in front of them children. Right. So I was talking about uh, how we used to be walking from Moton up Amanasta. And, um, you know, back in the day, you know, you waited till after school, but you waited and walked home. Then you had to fight, right? Right. So I said, yeah, this girl was trying to fight me. And she must have thought I was going to be scared because all our brothers was around. And then you know how back then you got to knock the rock off the shoulder. Yeah. Once you knock the rock off the shoulder, the bell has rung. I knocked the rock off. <laughs> we went for what we knew, right? Right. right. Girl, I'm sure going to take what you're talking about and use it against you. And she said, about, yeah, I bet you they used to be beat you up on Amanasta. You, you're right. I went and laid in my bed and cried. Mm -hmm. no, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. That's why I chopped it. Girl, them children will do it to you. Them chair will do it to you. You hear me? Them chair will do it to you. Them chair will do it to you. Bitch, listen. I was raising Karen on my own. Not because I had to. It's because, you know, his mom was going through stuff. Long story short, whatever, whatever. I was raising Karen on my own. No assistance, no nothing. I was going without so that bitch, so Karen could have. I'm talking about sometimes... I ain't always had it like that. You know, after you paid the house note, the car note, all the bills, this bill, that bill, the he on a PlayStation, thank you for journey. Thank you for ordering. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you for your purchase. All them purchases adding up on a PlayStation and all that and all that. So now, I think he wanted some Jordans or something. I mean, he got the Jordans. Something happened. I don't know what was happening. I don't know. Something happened. And that Karen says something. I say, I ain't got it right now. And plus, you punish. Kind of that me and say, I don't want to be here no more. Bring me to my mama. See when he said that? <laughs> See when he said that? Everything in my head. He, you ain't got nothing. You is at the bottom of the pit in your account. You couldn't even go buy this because you bought that. You couldn't do this because you did that. And now, the one time you say, I can't get it right now, I'm going to get it at a later date. He say he wants to go by his mama. <laughs> Bitch, that was the end of it. The TV went to the flow. The game went out the window. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what that's what goes on. Them children hurt your feelings. Right. Them children hurt your feelings. But I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna go pack the bags. Nah, -uh. ain't no pack no bags. Cause see, that's when I gets unruly. Go outside and wait for your mama to come. I need my shoes. Uh-uh. I bought them shoes. Stand outside. It's cold outside. I need a jacket. Uh-uh. I bought that jacket. Stand outside. It's cold. That's free. The cold was offered by Mother Nature. Go outside. And shut my, my door. And I'ma like it. Yeah. I ain't hit you. That's mine. Go outside. 
But let me use your phone to call my mama. Uh uh. That's my phone. Use your money and go walk to the pay phone. I ain't got no money. And I ain't got no phone. See, that's how you got to play the game. I'm not going back and forth with no child because them children go say stuff to make you want to run off and jump off the bridge. Uh-uh. They get to school and embarrass you, then you walk into school and you got a red nose on your face and you don't even know about it. Them children will get you every time. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But, uh-uh. Well, I'm going... Oh, Fuck, Mr. Carroll, it's it's rough out here for me. I got to go on the backup page, you know? What happened? I know I'm trying to add you on the page. What's going on? I mean, Instagram. It's like they've got a personal vendetta against me. It's it's it's, it's quite it's quite disturbing. It really is. Oh, my God. How are you? I'm fine. You know, just speaking of these. Did you hear the story about Skip? No. What happened to Skip? What happened to Skip? He was teaching a line dance at the school, and they fired him. Oh. God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> God did a little one-two step on him, huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> can't dance his way out of this one. <laughs> mm. Look at that. I mean, you know, that's so terrible. I, you know, you'd hate to lose, hear about somebody losing their job. <laughs> Skip to my loo, my darling. Anyway, I came on here for more important things, Mr. Carroll. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the uh, the gubernatorial election's coming up. And, uh, you know, it's going to be serious, Mr. Wait, Carroll. Who the, election? The, the governor's election. Right. The, the run for governor, you know. Right. And it's going to affect us. It, it really is. You know, usually I just kind of like stay out of it. I don't really get into it, but it, it's a really big deal. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared. I can't vote because I'm a felon, so, you know. Damn. Why? You, what did you do? I'd rather not say on camera. But, you know, when I, when, I, when I see you at the, you know, the functions, whenever I run into you, I'll, I'll be happy to tell you the stories. You still, a... you still coming to Texas um, this weekend? Oh, this weekend. Oh, that was this weekend? You told me that you were... I had you on a fly as a special guest for Friday. Oh, shit. I, yeah. Uh, so he, here's the thing, Mr. Carroll. You know, I'm starting a podcast and, uh, you know, I'm going to be uh, filming the first episode this weekend. So, but I'd love to have you on as a guest, honestly. All right. Cause I was just about to say it. Well, no, I think, you know, if anybody's going to be my first guest, it should be you. You know, and you get to tell your story your way, and I won't. You know, I won't stop you. Thank you. You know, Thank I was gonna, I was gonna DM you about it. I didn't want to break it this type of way, you know. But I mean, since we're here, thank you. Now. I appreciate it. But no, anyway, you know, we, we, you know, seriously, before we get to the the mayor race, you know, we've got to make sure we've got as many people because you know, the mayor's race is going to be affected by this governor's race. So you what you saying? What you saying? saying? It's gonna knock me out. What oh, I'm just saying, they're trying to bring us back to slavery days, you know. <laughs> they're trying to keep, you know, trying to keep the black man down. I'm just trying to prevent that. So, you know, whatever I can do to help the the black, that's all, I'm, that's all I'm trying to do. Well, I'm still running. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't getting out the race. I'm still running. No, no, in no way, shape, or form am I saying that we're gonna run this fucking campaign. I've got the graphics ready. I've got, listen, I've got talking points ready. I'm ready to be your right hand man and yes, fucking sir. take it down. Who are we even going against? Who are we running against? I don't even fucking, you know, who's the competition? Shit. Well, you know, the, um, you know, every time election time come around, Baton Rouge sends the ballots of just know, I just want to know, like letting people know who's running and, um, you know, how it's looking like, like a survey type deal. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, so did, survey. did you check the survey out? I mean, like, how was it? Uh, I mean, did, how 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 long does it take to get those results? I mean, what are we looking like? I think I, I think I, I'm not sure. I think it was like a 60 day survey. Um, I have to go and check, but I mean, mm -hmm. some people didn't make the survey. I don't know what's going on. Well, if they know. didn't make 
if they are relevant. They're fucking losers. They need to go back to where they come from. You know what I mean? If you couldn't fucking hack it to get on the survey, you don't belong on the ballot. Now you're just taking up space. <laughs> Fuck off, loser. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was ready to pop out this weekend. I don't know. I don't know. Something must be wrong with your DMs. You don't, you don't really answer Man. back. Or hey, you got my number. I texted you. I texted you uh, not too long ago. Yeah, it was one Thursday. I was going to come, you know, holler at you and Rockabee, and you guys, you know, I don't know. Rockabee be rolling. Come this Thursday. Yeah, but yeah. I'm not far. Come this Thursday. Because, I'm, you know, I'm hitting it out of here Friday morning for sure. <laughs> I'll wear my Jordans and my M-line, you know. <laughs> oh, you had that. I James <laughs> told me you had got that M line shit. I heard about that. Yeah, you go, you know, go put that shit on, huh? I'll try, you know, we're in the we're in the right season. I can step a little more. You can layer up, you know. Right. So you know, you can go full on, like you know, full on poppy mode. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's gonna be a good year. It's gonna be a really good year. I'm super. Good. You know. You know this time this this time next year is the election. The election is October of 2024. You know so, what? I, I wish a broke bitch would tell me something after they if, they, if you don't fucking go vote and you, I wish you would fix your mouth to come on here and fucking tell me something. You know what I mean? Like, I wish you would. Bitch, don't tell me anything. If you don't fucking win, you know, well, what are we even talking about? Don't come on the live. Don't try to be in my face. Don't try to get me to wrestle for you. Just stay the fuck away. If you really want to show support, you need to fucking bring your ass down to the ballot. Or the, the polls and, and punch your fucking ballot. That's what you do. Well, well you know, I have I have the current numbers, you know, but the the ballot still isn't open. I have the current number right now of mm -hmm. you know who's leading um the mayoral you know yeah rate at this time. Of course. And it was <laughs> Hey, I mean no. But, you know, people go to hate and all that, so, you know, I ain't yep. saying that. I'm just waiting until the city is over. Let's not say anything. Um, right. You know, let's just keep everything under wraps. But, you know, it's public record. You know, they could go to City yeah. Hall and see, you know, instead of going to City Hall and going to the assessor's office to see where I said, go see who's running, who's winning right now, who's ahead right now in the mayoral's race. Go check yeah. that. Why look for me? And instead, where of going to, uh, instead of going to family court to, uh, you know, find out you're not paying your child support, how about you go to the city hall <laughs> and see who's leading the race? <laughs> Bro broke well, bitches. My, you know, Lonnie, I, 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 I don't think I never told you this, man, but, you know, um, I really love you, bro. I mean, at first, hey, look, look, at we, first you rubbed me the wrong we way. We got off to a rocky start. Well, we did. Here's the thing. When you have two people, you know, and they're both uh, very uh, strong-willed and opinionated. You know, initially we got off on the wrong foot. That's big. See, you know, that's big. That's it's the opinionated word. See, the opinionated word is big. The opinionated word is, is what make a hating bitch hate you even hey, more. They hate you for your opinion. Isn't that crazy? Mr. Carroll, everyone's entitled to one, and it's it's totally fine. But see, once we, we kind of, you know, understood, hey, we're in it to win it. Yes, sir. We're, the, we're, the, we're the same person hands with ourselves you know because normally people say that in opinion just like a um an asshole we all have one why you didn't use that terminology hmm. 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 i mean you know here's the thing this city this city needs all the help it can get right you know and, I, and i'm not I'm trying to, you, you you missed the, the the um the, the butthole part they say you know in opinions like an asshole we all have one what why you didn't quote that well, see, here's the thing. Right. I understood where you were trying to go with what? this. I'm on such a positive note, you know. <laughs> hey, 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 look, I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was enough. Because, you know, in the Key Carroll show, it's not about the, um, the governor's race. It's about the um, mayor's race, you know. Um, just know. Just know this. Not if. But when, let's start that first. It's not if, but when Keith Carroll and his administration take over City Hall, just know it will be a time. You got the 